comes with a heat sink. You need a heat sink. Don't try to put an expandable uh, storage into your PS5 without a heat sink. And I just want to note that there is enough clearance to, um, I just want to note that there is enough clearance to put the plate back on and close it flush. So you can see uh, where the top of the heatsink is versus, hang on, you can see where the top of the heatsink is versus where the top of the, I don't know, the, the, the housing begins for the face plate or for the cover plate. So I'm definitely gonna put the cover plate back on. Um, you can see where the fan is and then you can see with the cover plate on, there's no real way for the heat to release, but I just don't wanna have like a bunch of loose parts for my, um, for my PlayStation. So I am gonna put the cover plate back on. If I notice it overheating or if I have any interruption with the gameplay, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the plate and uh, just, you know, put some extra air back there. But this should be good and it should hold up against overheating. I'm putting this back in and then I'm gonna put the cover back on. So this is what we get um, when we turn on the play as PS5. I did format it and we get six just under 6500 MBs per second and um, that's I guess what we expected they rate it at 7100 but we'll see if we you know ever get that high and now I'm moving everything over to the con uh, to the Corsair. Pretty fast.